For years, there have been whispers and rumors surrounding Will Smith, suggesting that he may have a darker side to his persona, one that's rarely discussed publicly. Now, the latest buzz is that Tevin Campbell, the once beloved superstar of the 90s, might finally be ready to expose some of the most shocking secrets about Hollywood's elite. If you thought Diddy's secrets were bad, Tevin's story promises to be on an entirely different level. According to reports, Campbell claims that Will Smith, Quincy Jones, and other industry power players took advantage of him during his rise to stardom. Tevin Campbell, once hailed as a musical prodigy, had his career closely tied to the legendary music producer Quincy Jones. With Jones as his mentor, Campbell was poised for superstardom. However, the trajectory of his career wasn't without its dark moments. Allegations suggest that figures like Will Smith and Quincy Jones, who were at the top of Hollywood's power structure, used their influence to manipulate Campbell's career and personal life. Some rumors have even suggested that Campbell was coerced into situations he never wanted to be in, and that his rise to fame may have come at a great personal cost. One of the more sinister rumors is that there was more to Will Smith and Tevin Campbell's relationship than just friendship. Some claim that Smith, along with Quincy Jones, exerted control over Campbell, pushing him into situations that were neither professional nor consensual. The whispers grew louder when singer Jaguar Wright, known for her explosive revelations about the music industry, alleged that Campbell had been turned out in Hollywood. Wright's claims added fuel to a growing fire, with many questioning the true nature of the mentorships that took place behind closed doors. Among the most shocking of these rumors are claims about Will Smith's alleged involvement in secretive and disturbing gatherings. These gay parties, as they're being called, are rumored to have been a way for powerful figures in Hollywood to control young stars. It's been suggested that only those who participated in these gatherings were able to advance in their careers. According to some reports, singer Jaguar Wright even witnessed young men leaving Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's home, allegedly screaming in distress after what they had experienced there. These gatherings, Wright claimed, were part of a pattern of manipulation that she believes was a major part of how Hollywood's elite aimed power. Tevin Campbell isn't the only one alleged to have been exploited by Smith and Jones. The rumors also point to Quincy Jones as someone who took advantage of Campbell during the early years of his career. In 2018, Jones stirred controversy with some of his bombshell interviews, where he claimed that Campbell was an underrated musician. Some fans took this as a veiled acknowledgement of Jones's own role in shaping Campbell's career, but not necessarily in a positive light. Jones's past has long been shrouded in speculation, with reports suggesting that he had a history of exploiting young artists, including Campbell, when they were still minors. For his part, Tevin Campbell has denied many of the claims circulating about him. In 2018, when rumors about his alleged abuse resurfaced, Campbell took to Twitter to clear the air, calling the rumors disgusting and laughing them off. However, despite these denials, the rumors continue to follow him, especially given his rapid rise to fame at such a young age. Campbell was just 15 when he recorded his first hit, Round and Round, which climbed the Billboard charts and solidified his status as one of the top RB artists of the early 90s. His voice, described as possessing an incredible four and a half octave range, earned him comparisons to Whitney Houston, and he quickly became a fixture on the music scene. But Campbell's story isn't just one of musical success. His rise to the top was complicated by his involvement with figures like Quincy Jones and Will Smith, who were themselves deeply embedded in the Hollywood machine. While Campbell enjoyed early success, he was also thrust into a system that many believe was exploitative. Despite this, he continued to build his career with hits like Can We Talk and collaborations with artists like Prince, Usher and Lenny Kravitz. Yet behind the scenes, Campbell was reportedly facing immense pressure and control from those in power. In recent years, there has been renewed attention on the darker side of Campbell's early career. His relationship with Quincy Jones, in particular, has raised eyebrows. Jones, who has a reputation for being both a musical genius and a notorious figure in the industry, has long been linked to rumors of manipulating young talent for personal and professional gain. As recently as 2023, 
Will Smith's own confessions about his early career revealed that he wasn't entirely forthcoming about his acting abilities when he was cast in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Smith admitted that he lied about his acting experience to secure the role, which in turn helped launch his career. This revelation added another layer to the complex web of Hollywood's power dynamics. As Tevin Campbell's story continues to unfold, many fans are left wondering, was he just a victim of Hollywood's darker side? Or did he, like many others, get caught in a system designed to control young talent? The ongoing rumors about Will Smith, Quincy Jones, and other industry titans suggest that Campbell's story is far from over and that the secrets of Hollywood's most powerful figures may soon come to light. Will the truth ever be revealed? Or will these dark whispers continue to haunt the entertainment industry for years to come? Only time will tell. Between the ages of 14 and 16, Tevin Campbell was already a rising star in the music industry, collaborating with some of the biggest names in RB, pop, and soul, including Prince Babyface, Al B. Sure, Daryl Simmons, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, and Michael Walden, these legendary producers helped shape his early sound, solidifying Campbell as one of the most promising young talents of the 90s. His remarkable vocal range and the ability to work with such iconic figures ensured that his star power was undeniable. However, by the time of his third album, Back to the World, 1996, Campbell's career began to hit roadblocks. The album, which he co-produced, featured contributions from heavyweights like Babyface, Stevie J. Creeth Crouch, Sean Puffy Combs, and Chucky Thompson. Despite the star-studded lineup, the album only went gold, falling short of the platinum success that many had expected, given Campbell's early momentum. This marked a turning point in his career, and it was around this time that homophobia within the industry began to affect Campbell's trajectory. His image, which included a highly stylized, androgynous look for the album's lead single and video, came under scrutiny. As a young, black male artist with a delicate falsetto voice and a vulnerable persona, Campbell was often the subject of industry gossip and public scrutiny. The criticism surrounding his style and image combined with the industry's limited tolerance for openly queer artists at the time, created a challenging environment for him to thrive in. By 1999, Campbell's personal struggles became public when he was arrested for soliciting sex from an undercover cop at the age of 22. This scandal added to the growing list of personal and professional setbacks. His reputation took another hit in 2003 when he gave a controversial interview with Sister Two Sister magazine, which many fans and critics viewed as a desperate attempt to reclaim his public image. These series of events ultimately led to Campbell's fall from the A-list, as his promising career appeared to come to an abrupt halt.